morning, good evening, good night, everybody. Depending on the time you see this, I am Taylor here with another message of Taylor Said It. To my right, I have my sisters. Who are you guys? <laughs> I'm Wiseland. I'm Mimi. <laughs> They're confused. <laughs> we wanted to do our first message of the year to kind of talk about the first quarter, how it's been going. We are now in February. Ooh. So one month, by the grace of God, we made it. Thank you, Jesus. So ladies, what would you like to tell the world? I'll let baby sis go first. Well, first and foremost, <laughs> I thought she was gonna ask me questions. I didn't know that. She hate when people. Right? I didn't know you were gonna put me on the spot. She hate when people do that. <laughs> no, we just want to talk about our spiritual growth that we're doing. We want to talk about a little bit of goals, how to keep motivated, how to keep going, how to not fall under pressure like they just did. <laughs> so, our my first month going pretty well mm -hmm. we look like we are studying on the Holy Spirit so mm -hmm. I'm allowing the Holy Spirit to order my steps and to keep going yeah. and to keep trying different things we're trying to push away fear and to do things that we don't know and to move in the unknown how about you Mimi that's powerful moving the unknown what does that mean we don't know Okay. God is going to order our steps. God is going to tell me what That's to right. do. God is going to, in Jesus' name, order my steps. So yes. everything I do, I want to place him first. Yeah. I want to see what he wants me to do and not be fearful because I could be a little controlling. Yeah. So yeah. not knowing is like, eh, I don't want to do that. I want to do something okay. I know. So I'm saying, okay, God, it's time to get uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah. Being yeah. obedient without even knowing the how or the yes. why. Yes. Yes. Being obedient without the how. That's good. So moving, I think that's where I'm at um, with this year. My Bible verse is Matthew 6, 33. Above all else, seek the kingdom of God, live righteously, and he'll give everything to you. And that third part of that verse is pretty much letting God do his work mm -hmm. and letting him move, even though I don't know the okay. end results. I don't know necessarily 100% of the plan. And it involves being obedient, you know. So that's all in one. And I think in the first quarter, well, the first month, mm -hmm. um, I started off with the 21-day fast. And it was different this year because normally, like, I'll fast and say, you know, I want this to happen. I want that to happen. And this year, um, my fast was really about just, God, I don't want to fear you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to fear the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't want, like, if I'm in church and the spirit is moving and then I'm afraid to fall out, I'm afraid of this. So the revelation or like, you know, we know like God is holy, but like that word holy, even saying it right now, it hits me. Um, it's just like, okay, God is holy. So whatever happens, it's going to be good. It's for your good. Yeah. And I just fasted and I was like, God, I just want to go deeper with you. I just want you to show me new things of you. And I just thank God that he's showing me how to love him, if that makes sense. And I'm like, you know, we always say like, you know, how to receive it. How to, but I'm like, God is showing me how to love him. And that's so personal because how many, I mean, can we really show other people how to love us? Right. That's a very vulnerable place. And I just thank God that he trusts me with that. So the first month definitely, um, was um, God showing me exactly what I'm asking for. Dig deeper with him. Um, so I'm praying this year will be signs and wonders for all of us. Um, and just trying to like fast and pray. I think that's our thing this year. Is making it a lifestyle, fasting and praying. And then the reason why we fast and pray. Because we're always fasting and praying for a result. And it's kind of like, God, I want you. Yeah, You know. That's true. I was going to say the most important because a lot of times we fast and pray for something. Yeah. This time is making it a lifestyle, saying, okay, I don't know what I want. Or I do know what I want, but I'm going to trust God's plan yeah. that if my what I want is his need for my life, he'll give it to me. Yeah. So I'm just going to fast and pray to get closer to you. Yeah. Makes it makes it personal mm -hmm. yeah. with God. Mm -hmm. 
and we all have <laughs> businesses that we're trying to launch even better um, for the first quarter. Of course, you know, Save a Soul 365. <laughs> Yeah, your has You're right. She has a ministry. Oh, okay. I was like, I'm doing the business. I have God's business. That's it. But I was like, I don't have a business yet, but okay. You have, she has a ministry. What's the name of it? Sis Less Kingdom Talk. Because Sis Less Kingdom Talk. That's so deep. I love her name. Sis Less Kingdom Talk. So for all the ladies out there, for those who's a little worried, for those who don't believe in God, for those who do whatever, come on so we can share yes. the gospel. Mm -hmm. um, it's not on social media, but we she do have a website, which is ironsharpensiron3.com. And that's ironsharpensiron, the number three, dot com. To where we come on and sis, let's mm -hmm. talk. Yes. And then Miss Princess has you typic. I'm saying it right. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it right. Say yeah, it. Yeah, you look from the side. She has beautific that we're going to push no. and launch and relaunch. So together a lot of times people stress over what to do and that's why we're in the stage of standing still till God tell us Amen. to move yeah so if you yeah. tip is no longer here it's because something greater and better is coming Amen. Amen. So, right now I don't, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what other else mm -hmm. so we just want to come on encourage somebody who's out there in their first month yeah. already with trials and errors or yeah. with the first month feeling like they're not what social media wants them to be. They're not where their brain wants them to be. They're not where their parents want them and to it's be. It's okay to take a fast from social media or yeah. sometimes family. Don't isolate yourself. Of course, still have a God fearing community. Amen. But if you need that week or two or month, if God tells you to, then don't feel afraid to take a step back. You know, realign with God, yeah. fast prayer. And that's true. That remind me of um, my son. He's big, big, big on football. Mm -hmm. He had a great opportunity to, he's in eighth grade, to go work, work work out with some high schoolers. And he prayed about it, and God told him no. Oh, wow. He said, God said to wait, not yet. Wow. So if we're not doing something, it's okay. Sometimes yes. God do want to isolate us. Sometimes God do want us to stand still. Sometimes God is saying, it'll get there when it get there, but right now is not the perfect timing. And as much as we want that business, we want that husband, mm -hmm. we want that children, we want to have friends, we want to go on vacation, we want to live rent free, whatever it is, it's maybe not be your time. Yeah. Everybody looks different. You can be in the same household with different callings from God. Yes. So that's good to say, you might have to fast. Fasting is not always food. Right. You might do social media, you might do people, you might do work, you might say, hey, let me do 14 days at home, I need to take a leave. So God can actually speak to you and tell you what you need to do for that company to glorify him or to leave. Yeah. So that's really good, girls. Anything else you'd like to say? Um, with fasting, even if it's just you fasting for it, to thank God, yeah. um, to give things, or if you're fasting, you know, maybe you do want something. Maybe you're trying to pass the test or, like she said, get a house or get out of a house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, just always remember God is number one. Yeah. Like you want to make sure it's fasting is always with prayer. Like you yeah. should take out that time and try to make it the same time every day. But even if you can, you know, sometimes schedule is whatever. Make sure God is like the main prayer, prayer, prayer. No matter if it's just talking to Him, meditating on His Word, meditating on one verse. Because sometimes a lot of people fast, they think, okay, all I have to do is sacrifice this. Right. But there's no relationship with God. Right. At the end of the day, the fast should be. Get it closer to God, no matter if you're asking for something or not. Yeah. So please don't forget the prayer. That's and, so good. Uh, you know, having that relationship and being in God's and Jesus' That's presence. Good. That's really good. And the like my sister said, the purpose of fasting is to decrease your flesh yes. so your spirit can take Increase. over. Mm -hmm. And it's not just about being on a diet because yes. it can just turn into some raggedy <clears throat> diet yep. that... You know, but if you don't have that relationship with God, um, and you're not praying, 
And the other day I was like, God, you know, it, it's a duty. It's something that you probably have to cultivate. Mm -hmm. yes. Like anything in life, you got to work that muscle. You know, you just have to be disciplined. And I agree with trying to do it the same time every day. Yeah. If you have the opportunity to do it first thing in the morning, yes. if you got to be at work at six, wake up at four. It's the yeah. sacrifice that you're making, but you got to cultivate that lifestyle. Um, and it'll come easier, but you got to do the difficult so God can do the impossible. But it's definitely, what does prayer look like? It's just talking to God. Yep. You ever hear a kid that's praying, you know, my four-year-old, when she prays, oh my goodness, we pray together and she tells God all her business. Yep. <laughs> mommy yelled at me, mommy. <laughs> and I wonder, like, I, we're praying, you know. So start off with God, I love you and I thank you. And then yes. just talk to him. Like you're talking to a girlfriend or whatever, yeah. you know, God knows your heart. So I think that's very powerful. Mm -hmm. And also with um, Baby Ty's testimony, I think him hearing from the Holy Spirit at such a young age, it's not so much that he said, God said no, but I think the not yet is what's yes, me. Yes. There's something different in that. When yes. it's like, God said, no, I can't do this. But then the fact that he recognized that God says not yet. Yes. That in itself is a sermon. I don't know. Uh, to me, I'm just like, I'm like, he didn't say God said no, like you can't do this. You can't. He says not yet. So sometimes we have to trust trust the process. Yes. And a lot of us, we like microwave. Mm -hmm. You know, we like things quickly. I like things quickly. Um, but the fact that he said God said not yet. That reminds me of um the story of when the guy had to sacrifice his son. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He said, "I'll be, will be back. Yeah, yeah, we'll be back." Because he could have easily, like, "Oh my God, yes. I'm only gonna be back." He's not thinking he's gonna lose his son. Yeah, but he had so much faith in God, and he was like, "We'll be back." But you he know? remembered the promise, right? Abraham, God said, "What you're gonna be the father of many, many nations, nations right?" Yep. They were struggling to have a uh -huh. kid, yeah. So he's like, "Okay, well, God, I know what your promise is. You're yes. telling me to sacrifice these this child." But we'll be back. Yes. You know, and he didn't back to what um Rupert was saying. He didn't know the I'll why come. or the yes. how. You yes. know, he just yes. had that faith and was obedient. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because I, I could check it out yourself if I'm wrong. I heard or I think I read he was like 13 years old. So he got mm -hmm. to build relationship with this boy. Oh, he done got this. Uh, you know, my my teenage son got to say come kill. So that means. I have to watch him watch me kill you. Oh, no. So that was one of those things like, okay, dad, you don't picked up this knife. What was that about? So now wow. I can go back and explain how strong my faith is. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to hurt you, but if God told me to, I had to. So imagine the lesson Abraham had yes. to give to his son. Like, yeah. I know you're going to tell your mom I don't pick up this knife, but mm -hmm. this was behind wow. it. And prayfully, God let the angels Abraham hear the angel, not Abraham, Abraham's son hear the angel so he can know, okay, mm -hmm. God didn't want to harm me, but this is how strong my faith has to be yes. to let go what I love the most, what I can commune with. He got mm -hmm. to notice, I always thought it was a baby. So I was like, oh, that's yeah, how I was you don't know that baby show. anyway. So I was like, oh, whatever, because a lot of times babies stay, the mommies yeah. have the baby. So I was like, cool, mm -hmm. I'll be back. But then when you read it, it says he walked with him. Yeah. Wow. So he's not an infant. And I was like, but I got to double check if he was a teen, but I know it was a walking age child. So yes. that means you got to know them at least more than two yeah. years. So that's, that's, so good that's your know. homework. Look that up. Yeah. Let me know if I'm wrong. <laughs> it's okay. But I do know when I read it, he's a walking age. And I think it was a sermon I read. I was listening to on, on YouTube and it said he was 13. Mm -hmm. So he watched mm -hmm. the father pick up the knife to kill him. And that's mm -hmm. how strong his faith was like. Wow. I know God either he gonna let me kill you, but he gonna bring you back. Cause he did say we're coming back. Yeah, wow. that's so. even deeper because it's like I'm sure all these doubts and what if was in his head. Like, mm -hmm. okay, is my son gonna hate me when he get older? Yeah. He gonna question me? Is my wife? You know, whatever. Yeah. All of this. How am I gonna like, explain it to her when right. I mm -hmm. And he just had that faith. Yes, yes. So that's our first quarter: is to get out of our heads. Yeah. It's to trust the unknown. It's to move on God's steps. It's to commune with him. Because if we don't pray, we won't know how he sounds. Mm -hmm. We won't know right from wrong. Because yeah. we talk to ourselves. The devil talks to us as well as the angel. And if we're not careful, we could do the wrong thing. It may not mean go kill your son. It may not mean fast. It just means trust what God is telling you and to do it wholeheartedly. Yeah. So I, I know a lot of people say we shouldn't question. But I, I'm a strong believer in saying why. I'm going to do it, God, but for what? Because Jesus did also say, God, why me? Or something of that nature. And he had to remember, okay, I have to do my father's business. So fleshly, we're going to say why. 
but don't psych yourself out of yeah. the why. But you got to get a relationship to hear when God, he may tell you why. Yeah. Or, so you true. know, so, I mean, you got to get in that relationship so that way you and God, um, you guys can talk to each other. Yes. You guys can have that conversation, not just you talking to God. He actually talks back. Yes, he does. You know, so um, there's times he says, he tells us why. Right away, or he'll tell us afterwards, you know? Mm -hmm. So definitely. That's nice. So that's our prayer for you guys for the first quarter is to step into the unknown. Is I to don't trust the process. Back to the um, prayer and fasting. Um, yeah. If you're just starting out, or maybe you've been doing it, you're in a hard time. Don't be afraid to say, Holy Spirit, help me get through this. Yes. Or God, help me. Or what do I fast? You know, yes. that's yes. a part of speaking to the Father or, mm -hmm. you know, having that relationship. Because, you know, a lot of times people get into... You know, fasting, and it's like, okay, I can't do this. Like, I want that candy, or that's I want to go back on social media, true. or I don't want to stay still. I want to go back to work. It's a Holy Spirit, I need you. God, mm -hmm. I need you. You know, mm -hmm. like, and like, I think you said, um, ask God to show you how to love Him. Yeah. So yes. it's the same thing. Yeah. Like, don't be afraid to ask Him. Like, you know, just talk to God. Yeah. He wants us to talk to Him. Yes. And ask for His help. He wants us to lean on Him. Yeah. Yes. So don't yeah, be afraid yeah. to lean on Him. Mm, that is so That's good. Truth. Can I the share Holy something? Spirit. Of course. Um, with the fasting. Okay. <laughs> so, 2020, I did a fast. Um, well, I was fasting all of that year, but we had a, like a huge, powerful fast that all of us, um, me and my sisters, we all just started. We said we we're going to do the Daniel fast, right? We've never done a Daniel fast. We've always done more of what a sacrifice is. So, like, we'll sacrifice chocolate, we'll sacrifice right. TV, whatever. And whatever, that time frame, we were, um, obviously there was some spiritual warfare and God spoke through my baby sister and she's like, hey y'all, let's do a fast, we all agree. We went like all in. We didn't know what the Daniel fast necessarily was when we started off. Um, we didn't even, I don't think we prepared. No, nope. I never really fast in real life. Right. I a little bit and I'm like, all right, it's 12 o'clock, I'm done. Mm -hmm. no, yeah. That was my first fast ever and we went in. We went in, we were making like, it was, for those of you that don't know, like you can Google like what a Daniel fast right. is, but it comes from the Bible where Daniel ate only fruits and vegetables. Um, so we just had fruits and vegetables and maybe some olive oil. Yeah. Some of us um, modified the fast by having like maybe salmon once a week or whatever. So anyways, I say all of that to say at that time, the spirit of God moved. I mean, he's always around, right? But we heard him loud and clear because we decreased our flesh and we were into this thing. Like we were like, we're fasting, we're doing okay. this. So remember, we've never done a day of fast. My sister said 21 day fast. And with that being said... We just kind of said, okay, well, there's this Daniel fast, right? This year, while we're fasting, the revelation of maybe the Daniel fast is not a fast in the Bible came up, right? So this is, what, three years later? Mm -hmm. So we were like, okay, let's duplicate this fast. We're trying to look for the same thing because we're like, that was a powerful fast. Right. Let's get back on this. It was a different season. We couldn't, right. like, Before duplicate us. that. <laughs> right. So we each did our own thing. But um, when I started, when I was reading Daniel, I remember like reading it and I was like, um, Daniel only ate fruits and vegetables. It didn't even dawn on me. That's the fast that, you know, We're everyone's doing. been saying the Daniel fast from back then. So I said, you know what? I read um, somewhere where, you know, it's not necessarily real fast. Fasting is without food, whatever. Um, so God just kept revealing these things to me as I was fasting this year. So I said, well, I'm going to do fruits and I'm going to do fruits and vegetables just like Daniel did, just fruits and veggies. Um, and that was from what, the second, I want to say second day or the first yeah, so like the one. Yeah, first day and then at like the third day as like God is revealing this thing, he's like, Okay, now that you know that that may not necessarily be a fast, I need you to fast after five o'clock. Continue mm -hmm. your fruits and vegetables. This is the third day. Don't fast. Don't eat from five to like six in the morning, whatever. Mm -hmm. So this is God like showing me things, right? So then the last day comes of the fast and God is like, Don't eat. Mm -hmm. 
and I'm in church. I didn't have breakfast. And then it's just like, okay, well, we read the, again, Daniel, the Bible verse where God is like, I heard you even before you started fasting, yep. you know? Um, so then I'm like, okay, God, it's not about just the fast. I ask that, you know, you reveal yourself to me that I let go and I surrender and I submit myself to you. I don't want to be afraid of you. I want to get in a presence where I absolutely love being in your presence. And I don't feel like it's a duty, right? We're talking real life. And he's been revealing these things in the last day. Don't eat. So I tell my daughter, she's 14. She's like, mommy, girl, whatever. You be doing the most. So then when I told my sister, I was like, well, I was in church and I felt like God said to me, don't eat today. Like, you know, I didn't have breakfast, whatever. And then my sister said, men, same thing. So right then and there, I was like, oh my goodness, God, I hear from you. Not that I ever doubted that I heard from him, but it's usually like in hindsight. I'm like, yeah, I heard from you. I did the right thing. But it was like, here it is that you spoke to the both of us. We're mm. sitting separately. Yeah. So I say all of that to say, get started. Yes. So I love that my sister said, hey, you know what, guys? It's get in a prayer, get in this. Fast, pray, because the goal is for you know you to walk in the spirit. You yes. know what I mean? Decrease our flesh, because our flesh, what? It likes lust. Mm. It likes the everything Emotions, not of God. Yes. We're human, yes. right? But if we stay, you know, in the spirit or we walk more in the spirit and decrease our flesh, right? John 3.30 says, I must decrease so God can increase. Mm -hmm. um, God is going to show us. Yeah. So he showed out in 2020 whether some people believe we weren't fasting for real or not because we did the Daniel fast. Right. But it was our heart. It right. was our yearn for him. It was the yes. fact that we wanted him. And he broke bondages. He redeemed us. Yes. Like, just showed up so powerful in our lives. Um, and then this year, he was showing us stuff differently. Yeah. Like, as we're talking, we're like, oh, my goodness. I'm like, okay, well, we're sharing certain things. And we're like, okay. But even small things, like small distractions that come in life, right. um, things that we don't think is a big deal, the Holy Spirit was showing us, this is, you know, a trick of the enemy to yeah. try to distract you from me. So, I say all of that to say start yes. <laughs> start don't be somewhere afraid. don't be afraid right. no one is perfect the right. same spirit that rose jesus from the dead is the same spirit that that's in you Amen. as soon as you give your life to christ as soon as you believe in jesus yeah. you have that holy spirit in you and don't yes. let nobody tell you differently yeah. so we're all on different journeys but we're always learning right yes. we're going from glory to glory there's nobody that's living on earth that's perfect Okay, and a lot of times the sanctified saints, right, our old school churches say <laughs> sometimes their information is not necessarily correct, or right. maybe correct for them, right. but it, but it's not what God is calling for you. So we're in a great space where we have the Bible apps, we have things that teach. I mean, the Holy Spirit is our counselor, our comforter. He prays for us. Yes. So open your Bible. Yes. Open your Bible, and like Weezy said, ask God. I need you guys. I don't know what I'm doing, but start somewhere. That was a long story. <laughs> and even if you, because I know we hear everywhere, oh, you have to pray in the morning, you have to pray in the morning. Don't get me wrong. Sooner or later, try to start that. Yeah. But the first fast I did, the um, Daniel fast we mm -hmm. did, I was doing 8 p.m. Mm -hmm. 8 p.m. every day, every day. The first couple days, it was a little yeah. hard because it was my first fast. So I was like late and this and that. Mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. Stephanie Ike, yeah. she was the one that was like, basically it's like you making an appointment with God. Like the mm -hmm. angels are sitting there waiting for you. And if you're not there, it's like, oh my gosh. You know? Makes so good. ever since then, I'm like, okay. Make a time. Yeah. Make that time. Set that alarm. Set an alarm an hour before. Nice. If you're, let's say you say you're going to fast at 8 p.m., set that alarm at 7, 7 o'clock, 7.30, 7.45. Wow. So, wow. you know, you make it. And like, honestly, I feel that like when I started doing the 5 a.m. this past 21 days um, yeah. in January, it's times like I'm like, oh my God, they're here. Oh my God, God is here. Like five, like literally, and I'm like, yo, okay, yeah. Oh <laughs> so, y'all got this, man. We're excited for y'all. Yeah. We are, but <laughs> it's all great and dandy to fast, but we can't leave it without saying, if you have not accepted Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, God, tell me if I'm wrong, it means nothing. We get fast, it becomes yeah. another cliche, it mm -hmm. becomes a because the world is doing it. Because I didn't right. know that doctors give out fasting for diet. Intermittent fasting. So yeah. I didn't know that. So it was one of those when I read it, I said, What are you doing? 
away so the world do take yeah. bible and turn it into a worldly thing so we can take away the meaning of it yes. so those of you who are watching who's like okay i do that yeah. but you never confess with your mouth yeah and accept jesus christ as your lord and savior you're just doing it for the world yeah so i'm gonna put my sister on the spot <laughs> We all, you want to accept Jesus Christ right now as your Lord and Savior. She is going to lead you into that prayer. It is in Romans. I'll put up the right, but I don't want to give you the wrong one, but it is in Romans. But it's simple, easy. It's just confessing with your mouth, yes. confessing with your heart that you want him. You can be by yourself. You yeah. can be in the car, wherever you are hearing this, this is your time. Life is not promised. We can all die right now. If you want to make sure you are set. The rapture can come as soon as you. I say goodbye. You want to say, oh, okay, God, I just accepted you as my Lord and Savior. Regardless of what you do, our addicts, our whores, our people who get abortions, whatever you do, he wants you in your mess. Not yeah. one character so far that I read was perfect. Mm -hmm. They all had their own thing going on and he took you. Those of you who think you're perfect is the one who's going to miss it mm -hmm. because you feel no need for him. Mm -hmm. You feel I have it. I'm perfect. I got this thing going on. So you're going That's to wow. miss it. That's good. So us who's dirty, who's stinky, who's in our sin, he wants you there. Wow. Don't listen to the bro. <laughs> Dirty, stinky, all <laughs> things. <laughs> As you see, we're all normal. And that's another thing. People distraction, say distraction, distraction. <laughs> distraction. Don't let it go over your head. He wants you, and it's fun to live it. This is yeah, one of those yeah. pure joy. So as we think it's a distraction, he's showing you, you can have fun with this. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. still live regular lives. We're all on different walks, so we all yeah. gonna look differently. If you know us personally, it don't look the same. Not one is better than the other. Nothing's um, God had no respect of a person, None. meaning yes. he doesn't love me more than he loves you, her more than he loves me. No, all it is is once you start walking with God, yes. he aligns your steps. Once you start walking with him, he aligns you 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 just love god so much that you just want to do everything yes not only to please him to not upset him yeah. and when you realize like oh my gosh god's spirit lives in me you're like i don't want to grieve the spirit yeah. inside of me are we perfect no we're not like you know we can start fighting right after we right close this i mean Hello. but then again it's different than years ago where we would just do it and be like whatever right. now it's like we'll be convicted that conviction yeah. and that's you what know? you want to know you're on the right path you want that oh oh i shouldn't have cussed her out like that mm -hmm. ah, i shouldn't have slept with that boy again you want that feeling because he's leading you down the right path we're not saying as soon as you confess your life is straight it's not yeah. it may shake up a little bit because now there was mad he done lost somebody and he wants you back so I always say you're going to go through turmoil when you accept him wholeheartedly because the devil wants you to know you're not worth it. Hmm. You can't have him. You can't go to heaven. Your glory is here or he's going to give you that job that you know you shouldn't have. And he's going to set time your bonus. Right. He's going to do things to make it look good. And if it comes too fast, step back and say, God, is this for me? So we always talk about how bad he's going to do. He's going to do good too. He's going to give you that car. He's going to say, girl, go back and smoke yeah. because I got you. So you want to say, wait a minute, this feels too good. Is it in line with God? Do I need this card now? Or is he going to give it to me later? Regardless didn't he of offer blessing? Jesus, speaking of fasting, didn't he offer Jesus the world? Yep. Yep. When Jesus was fasting for 40 yep. days yep. and 40 nights, weak. We forget, and that's when I try to put myself in, in the Bible because we right. think of like these as characters. These were, were real, real people. people. Yes. And we that's don't know behind the scenes. Yes. So Jesus is God that came down in human form on yes. earth. So his flesh was weak. He was probably starving. Ooh, of course, the spirit was higher. Exactly. <laughs> 40 days. And then... In the wilderness. In the wilderness, the devil showed him, them. I'll give you all of this. So when you think you live in the limelight, when you're hmm. thinking you got all these cars, all these houses, all these girls, all these guys, um, that emptiness Ooh. you're feeling is because you don't have Jesus right. in your life. You know what I mean? So he offered Jesus the world. Yes. The world. Why? Because he was distracting him from the main purpose, exactly. from Jesus beating death. Hmm. So just like when you said something about hell, it's like, hell lost another one. <laughs> I am free. I am free. So we want That's what we want to rejoice. Right. It's a celebration. When yes. you say this with your mouth and you feel it in your heart, 
when I hear the angels are going to be cheering, they're there, they're ready to battle for you, they're ready to get you. You think they're protecting you now. God is protecting you because he wants you to say, I accept my son. You didn't sit here and not overdose because of nothing. Mm -hmm. You didn't sit here and pass that car accident for nothing. Right. It's because he made you see you can break your arm, but I got you. So yeah. imagine actually accepting him. Yeah. You'll come out clean next time. Yeah. So go ahead, man. We're going for this. Mm -hmm. Well, um, like I said, we don't do this alone. <laughs> so we'll all say it together. Yeah. Bow our heads. Our hearts and minds are clear. Mm. Well, God, we thank you so very much for being here right now. Thank you for being in the homes, in the cars, wherever the listeners are. We know that this was an ordained appointment. It may have been impromptu to us, but whoever is listening to this right now, tomorrow, whenever they listen to it, it's that perfect time for them to listen to it. I pray in your name, Jesus, just like Elijah said to when he prayed to you to help Elisha spiritual eyes open so he can see what was going on i pray that for your for the listeners i pray that their spiritual eye open lord jesus that they know that we're not fighting flesh and blood but spiritual principalities the enemy is tricky but you are our god if you are for us nothing can go against us nothing is against us we pray for every listener everyone that's losing hope everyone that's living in shame everyone that feels like life is over let them know as long as they're living they have another chance we say right now lord jesus holy spirit touch them touch them touch them from the crown of their heads to the soles of their feet give that mother hope give that father hope give that sister hope give that brother hope give that person hope if you don't know or you haven't confessed with your mouth or maybe you backslide a little bit we want you to confess that jesus christ is your lord and savior and we'll say that prayer together god we love you we thank you we thank you so much for letting your only begotten son jesus christ come down on earth he died on the cross for us he beat death for us no other gods in any religion have ever done that. We serve a mighty God. Amen. Jesus said it is finished on that cross. They meant for the cross to be something negative when we look at it. But when we look at that cross, we know there's hope because Jesus rose on the third day for us. So right now we confess and we say, God, thank you for sending your son down, down to die on a cross for us. Thank you for raising him on the third day. At this moment, I give all of my burdens to you. I give all of my struggles to you. I give all of the demons to you. I give everything that I'm dealing with to you, God. From this day forward, I confess that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. I am your servant, God. I give my life to you. I am not perfect but I am releasing, I am surrendering, and I am being obedient and trusting God. I have faith, God, because there's nothing else that this world can give me. I may have all the money. I may have no money. I, no matter what I have, God, I know it is not greater than you. Jesus, you are my Lord and Savior. I give my life to you. I give my life to you. I give my life to you. Holy Spirit, I welcome you in my life fill me up god show me things that i've never seen god let me walk in your spirit wherever i go let it be holy ground god i love you i thank you i thank you for letting me hear this message i thank you for showing me a little more of you god i feel you in my body and i thank you forgive me for my sins again sanctify me i exalt your name I love you, God. Thank you, Jesus, for beating death for me. Hell lost another one. I am free in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen.